Finally tonight, an incredible story about someone who gave the gift of life to a total stranger through an organ donation. But that's not where this story ends. In fact, as NBC's Joe Fryer tells us, for these two, it was just the beginning. Heather Kruger's glowing smile did a good job masking the pain caused by her failing liver. Basically, time was my enemy. Love you. Desperate for a living donor, Heather's family spread the word. A medical Hail Mary that landed in the break room of her cousin's workplace, where Chris Dempsey overheard a conversation and decided he could help. I know it's a scary thing to go through, but it's one of the greatest feelings in the world to be able to help somebody like that. I couldn't believe you know, I just said, thank you. Like, what do you, what do you say to someone that just is saving your life? <laughs> the transplant took place on March 16th, 2015. Chris gave Heather 55% of his liver and shortly after that, all of his heart. After we got out of hospital, uh, we kind of made it official that she was going to be, be my girlfriend. So. Turns out sometime between the first time they met and the surgery, Chris and Heather discovered they were a match in more ways than one. Just everything was about me and he's so concerned about me and I'm like, wow, I just met him. Like, <laughs> he just how sweet he was. I was just thinking like, wow, this, this could work. <laughs> Last month, Chris had one more thing to give Heather, an engagement ring. Needless to say, his future in-laws were already impressed. You will not get a better man out there. Today, Heather is healthy and Chris's liver has totally regenerated as they share their story about organ donation, a gift of life, and for Heather, someone to spend that life with. Joe Fryer, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.